Hi everyone, welcome to Weed and Secret. Today we're going to be painting these wonderful Instagram bath bombs. Uh, we're actually going to be paint spraying them uh, and then decorating with glitter. I'm sorry about some of the sound in the video. These past videos I've had the uh, air conditioning unit on and I didn't realise that it was making a wind noise but I've done all these videos so I'm going to upload them and I hope you enjoy this one and uh, stay tuned I uh, missed a little bit out of the first scene so hope that doesn't matter and I'm just going to use a pipette to put the rubbing alcohol into the bottle because it's very narrow actually my thumbs are really hurting after pressing all those bath bombs yesterday um, so that's probably why so we're going to do a deep blue and we're going to do a yellow as well because the Instagram logo is predominantly those colour colours. It does have some purple on there as well. So I'm just going to fill those bottles half full with rubbing alcohol. not going to be easy to get the mica in them. I can't even remember what I used to put the mica in these containers last time. Is that about it? Alright, so I'm going to use um, some of this beautiful sapphire blue which I got from um, Silk Magic and I'm just going to use the end of a screwdriver because I need something very narrow it's probably going to take some time this Just gorgeous midnight blue this really beautiful I'm wondering if that will be enough so we'll just screw the lid on and give that a test give it a good shake up Wow, look at that. And this is my, uh, the one I'm testing. And I'm just going to spray this over the sink until the colour starts coming out. I feel I might need a bit more mica in actually. Mm, I think it actually needs some purple. Or is it just it needs more blue? to risk it with the blue so I am actually going to put the violet blue in oh I've got some little lolly sticks here that might work better
nice and rich. The blue's still showing through. It's overpowering the purple, but the finish on it is really, really shiny and lovely. So the next colour. So we're going to add some Bonnie Buttercup to this one. I just need to tip some out onto here because the lolly stick's not long enough to get in, in the bag. Now the Instagram logo actually has um, many colours. It has red, yellow, purple, blue, pink, orange. They're all the colours I can see. I feel like we need some pink back on the top. So the yellow is pretty fine. And yeah, I just feel like we need a bit more pink on the top there. Plenty of kitchen roll down, give your bottle a shake every time before you spray it. Now we're taking the yellow and spraying that on. And I'm just using one of the the plastic lidded sprays now these can be spotty they don't spray as neatly as uh, as those other bottles I've got I wish I had some more but I haven't got any so so there we go it's not finished yet because I think we're going to pop some glitter on them It's a bit more blue on actually.
so once you've got your bottles mixed up it's actually easy from that point I'm just remembering now the button needs to go on the top left so that's where the blue needs to go So I'm going to need to refill that. They work better if they're full rather than half empty. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some glitter paint. So I'm just again pouring in some rubbing alcohol. some biodegradable glitter putting quite a lot in there right and this is my um, tester bath bomb so we're just gonna see how that paints onto there have too much on my too much on my brush but we'll see because this is the sample It's about right actually you know how I love my gold let's see what it's like around the center I'm actually quite happy with these it's weird you know the first time you're going to attempt something you're always I, I kind of put it off because I'm frightened to uh, try it in case it goes wrong um, and I'll, I'll do whatever I'm doing I think oh I really must get on with doing those bath bombs or whatever it is sometimes it doesn't work often it doesn't work sometimes it works and I think these are working so I'm definitely happy with these so let's get them painted shall we So I've just turned the air conditioner off to do this. It's just a portable air conditioner and, and it's really old. I had it in my shop. It was about £200 from B&Q. Um, and it's done a good job for quite a lot of years. The only trouble is it has like a pipe out the back of it, like a tumble dryer so if you need like really need a hole in the wall to stop any air coming in from outside for it to be really effective but i've literally just got it stood on the countertop and it, it is very heavy um so it's stood on the countertop and the window is open so some warm air is coming in but that cool air just takes the edge off and it's really hard i mean my hat's off to you who work in hot countries without air conditioning because i literally i can't stand it it's it's really really difficult i 
I think these are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? I'm so, so happy with them. Now, these types of bath bombs, um, they're not going to make any colour in your bath. They might make a tiny little bit, but basically, obviously, the bath bomb is white. Um, the pink might put a little bit of colour in your bath because it's quite good at colour in the bath, but there's probably not enough to make anything strong. Let's move on to the next one. And there they are. Aren't they beautiful? So stick around because what we're going to do is we're going to fizz one of these. I mean, I'm not, there'll definitely not be a colour explosion in the bath or anything. Um, but we can definitely see what they fizz like because often that's a question that many of you ask when I do these. Um, bath bomb videos that you want to see what how they perform in the bath so let's do that shall we